Good morning. Let's explore the 13th homage to Tare. Homage to you who dwell in a blazing wreath like the fire at the end of this age. Your right leg outstretched and left drawn in, joy surrounds you who defeat hosts of foes. There are some wonderful details which we're going to explore, but I do not wish to miss the forest for the trees. So we're going to gather the little details and then bring them together like we're building a sandcastle to explore something that's even greater than the, than the sum of its parts. Let's explore the first couplet. Homage to you who dwell in a blazing wreath like the fire at the end of this age. Well, um, even though I was raised Jewish, uh, around Christmas time, I noticed what a wreath was. They, people would take um, circular arrangements of holly and put them on their door. Of course, as a Jew, I could not help but notice the similarity in shape between a wreath and a large floral bagel. The first line says it's a blazing wreath. That comes to us from the Buddhist tantric tradition, where you typically visualize a, um, Buddha, a Buddha in is the Buddha's pure land. And the perimeter is a circle comprised of fire. And the idea was that the fire keeps out the bad guys. Remember, um, Tantra manifested on this earth plane at a time of intense superstition and fear, when people believed wholeheartedly in bloodthirsty demons, de uh, zombies come from the grave, and a full array of ghouls. So they like the idea of the protective circle. We see that even in uh, the Western magic traditions, the same idea of the protective circle. Um, however, my teachers, some of my teachers, went on to explain that this is more than mere protection. This is a metaphor for the fire of wisdom that, that, that destroys illusions. Specifically, the illusions of separateness, and the illusions of permanence. Because what are the two pillars of Buddha's wisdom teachings? Causality, interconnection, and uh, impermanence, change. And, and most of us get into trouble when we forget that, when we think that actions have no consequence, or that um, we're impotent and can affect no change in the world around us. Oh, when we forget that things change, bad things change, good things change, neutral things change, everything changes. And so the two keys of Buddha's wisdom training are the wisdom that destroys these illusions which keep us shackled, prisoners and slaves to our afflictions and their causes. The second half of the first couple it reads, like the fire at the end of this age. Now, we could go into ancient Indian cosmology and how this universe is supposed to be destroyed by fire, or we can go into simple astronomy and astrophysics, how big, because of the, the, there's different types of stars, there's different types of suns, our type of sun will eventually become a red giant and basically consume the inner three planets, including ours, which of course will pretty much suck. Talk about an example of impermanence, eh? Uh, <laughs> One of the cool things about the second half of the first couplet is it is grabbing us by the lapels and giving us a fierce shake and saying, listen, dim bulb, Nothing lasts forever, so let go! Even Mount Everest will vaporize. Even the 
or the Earth's oceans will vaporize. Earth will be consumed by the death throes of our sun. But remember, this is not a statement of fact, but a statement of simile. You who dwell in a blazing wreath like the fire at the end of this age. And so there's something very dynamic and very energetic and very glorious, but a little bit scary about this picture of Tade painted here. Let's read on. Your right leg outstretched and left drawn in, joy surrounds you. Now this is an odd um, juxtaposition. Joy surrounds you who defeat hosts of foes. <laughs> who can forget the first Conan movie with that master thespian Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Conan, what is the meaning of life? Remember this? Remember this? To crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. <laughs> it was Conan the Barbarian, not Conan the Bodhisattva, folks. <laughs> so, how does... Um, Green Tade, how does Adia Tade defeat our foes? Well, what are our foes? Well, literally our foes, anyone who seeks to harm us directly or indirectly. Metaphorically, our foes are the impulses and afflictions which seek to be the boss of us, which seek to control our choices and our communication and our behavior. These are our obstacles. These are our obstructions. How does Tade protect us conventionally and ultimately? Through the power of her wisdom. Not because she does push-ups, not because she eats her Wheaties, but because of her wisdom. And here's the cool part. Here's the coolest thing of all. Joy surrounds you. Green Tade is not the grim-faced Geshe. She's not the donkey Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Okay, I might as well destroy some afflictions. Even if I'm successful, there'll just be more tomorrow. Thank you, Eeyore. No. <laughs> She's the opposite. She's more like a very, very wise, compassionate Tigger. <laughs> Who doesn't love Tigger the Tiger? Tigger the Tiger rocks. Tigger the Tiger is like the uh, anthropomorphic... She's like the embodiment of Prozac. <laughs> what she does, she does with zeal and enthusiasm and joy. My Taoist teachers were enthusiastic to point out that a great martial artist is not focused on the outcome of the fight. They're not focused on who wins or loses. They're in the moment, and they're just rejoicing in the flow and the dance that the present moment offers us. And you could say, well, hey, aren't they scared of dying? Aren't they concerned about taking the big dirt nap? And the answer is, well, of course. But in, but let's face it. Everyone dies. The tragedy, my friends, is that few people live. The key is to live each moment as if it were lost, not in a ridiculous, reckless, animal house sort of way, but to be completely caught up in the dance of compassion and wisdom, to be lost in the joyous thrall of doing that which we were born to do. This, I love uh, neo-noirs 
It was one I really enjoyed with uh, Nick Nolte. Called, I think it was called Mahone Falls. And there are basically four protagonists, a, a team of four heroes, we'll call them. And one of them is a cop trying to turn from his ways of violence. And he's going to a psychiatrist. And so the psychiatrist has him talking about his feelings and um, supplementing a lot of his bloodlust for food and all this kind of stuff. And in the final, oh gosh, I'd say reel of the film, the climax of the movie, he sheds the advice of psychi his psychiatrist and becomes a double-fisted, hard-hitting hero, kicking ass on the bad guys. And just before he dies, you know... In this climactic scene, he turns to his fellow hero and says, I've never felt more alive. Now, he didn't feel alive because he was kicking ass and taking numbers. He felt alive because he was doing what he was born to do in the moment without obsessing about the end outcome. What are you and I born to do? We're born to be great bodhisattvas. We are born to be men and women of love and compassion and wisdom and joy and playfulness. We are born to do what we do with spontaneity and skill and joy. That's right, folks. We're born to be Tigger the Tiger. <laughs> so... What I want to do right now is chant this quatrain for you using the book and chant. Homage to you who dwell in a blazing wreath, like the fire at the end of this age. Your right leg outstretched and left drawn in, joy surrounds you who defeat hosts of foes. Thank you for your time and your kind attention. We embrace the spirit of Tigger the Tiger and all you do. Uh, I want to remind you to click... Let's see the subscribe button, which should be right around there, and the um, the like button, and the share button, which should help, which should reveal the Twitter button, and the Facebook button, and the Google Plus button. So click, click to your heart's content. Click in the spirit of Tigger the Tiger. <laughs> My friends, may you be happy and healthy. I look forward to working with you during the next um, series of weekly webinars. May you and yours be happy and healthy. Om Tade Tutare Ture Soha.